Yeah, so I was driving along and I saw an auction, a uh, handled auction in uh, Jerseyville, Illinois. Uh, so the sign said last week, but I'm wondering with all the uh, the virus stuff going on if it's uh, delayed. But anyway, so here's a John Deere 45 with a little cutting platform. I thought that was cool. thought it was worth videoing. I mean, it's it's well used, but it's still cool. And then, of course, here's one with the uh, 235 two-row head on. It's a little soft out here. But anyway, kind of cool. Look at that little operating station up in there. That's going to walk on around. Ah, it's super muddy back here. It may not make it all the way around. Yeah, better not. Awfully muddy. Anyway, they got it covered up to keep the water out. Oh, I just thought it was kind of cool. We got another, uh, this is a bigger one down there. That's what is that, like a, you can't see the number on it. Anyway, it's been a long time since I've seen one of those with the platform, so I just thought I'd catch a video real quick. All right, so found found some old tractors that are gonna be at this auction, so check out this 600 case, so that's nice. Just don't see a whole lot of those, especially around here, you just don't see them anymore. Tricycle front, Super C, this thing's gotta be restored, right? I mean. The seat's a little rough, but everything else looks perfect on that thing. Be a good looking, good looking parade tractor right there these days. And you got the 3020, always a good looking tractor, love the 3020. Uh, that looks good, not restored obviously, but uh, that'd be a good good uh, work tractor for somebody. I mean, you could, you could still get some work done with that puppy. And then uh, check out the 1566 Black Stripe. That's super cool. So I believe, just looking at it, that's been repainted, and I think the shade of paint is off just a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit dark red, a little bit darker, I'm pretty sure, just looking at it. But a really cool tractor nonetheless. I mean, I wouldn't complain. I'd take it. It could, it could go in my shed any day. And that's super cool. They're such beasts. I don't know why. I've just, I kind of, uh, as I've gotten older, have really... Uh, gravitated towards these Black Stripe Internationals. So this 1566 is awesome. I do like that 3020 as well though down there. I, I'd totally rock that thing. Let's uh, let's come over to this side. Check this out. 2290 case. It's in really good condition. Uh, I'm not 100% not sure there isn't some repaint going on on that frame, but uh, <laughs> really good looking tractor. And then we got an 1135 Massey. Anyway. So that's kind of a surprise, uh, a surprise for the day. We just got done eating lunch and uh, we're just kind of cruising around. A couple dealerships I like to hit up and check out and see what tractors they got and found these puppies. And this combine, in case you were wondering earlier, 6600. So, all right.